The flowers are hermaphrodite. That means in the same flower, you have both males and females at the same flower. So how the pollination works is that uh, first you need to isolate the males and isolate the females. So it doesn't self-pollinate. So what you do is you uh, promote flowering on your male parent, extract the flowers, extract the anthers, extract the pollen from the anthers, and then you conserve that pollen. And then on the other side, with the female plants, what you do is you again, uh, while, once the flowering is uh, promoted, you select the, the female flowers, then you emasculate the flowers. Emasculation means that you remove the anthers, which is the, where the pollen and the male part is from the same plant. So it will not self-pollinate. So once you emasculate that, the flower, you bring the pollen that you collected previously from your male parent that you want to cross, and then you brush or you somehow put the pollen on the female flower. Once that happens, you have to protect that flower by, by putting a bag or, or, or other methods so the pollen that is on the air or the flowers above will not contaminate. What's different and you know, somehow unique from breeding coffee and making pollination in coffee com compared to other crops, so it's, it's, it's actually challenging to, to be able to be there on the right place at the right time to both collect the, the pollen and pollinate the plants. For example, like one rain or one uh, hot or cold spell could accelerate, accelerate flowering um, quite, quite a bit. Plant sex is cool. I'm a facilitator of uh, plant sex in 